Hello fellow simmers and welcome back to another sim speed build where today I try to rebuild another build which this one is actually a more uh, actual real house and it and you will see the changing in the blueprints as I go but yeah so I start off with just uh, kind of roughly placing where the walls will go Put the diagonal. I'm just, I'm just like roughly, and then I just start to kind of do it. Actual build. So like this is the 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 utility room, I believe, and then off of that on the on the yeah off of on that side there, the garage. That's diagonal is the garage. See, so yeah, after that, there's a sort of that side is a pantry, which technically doesn't need to exist but I mean the build has it and I was trying to have it because like it's even squarish kind of half square kind of, not triangle more like pentagon but like a even shape but I, could, I was like it was hard I think I changed the shape too it's smaller I think yeah and also it's not even correct on the other side I realized so yeah I do change that later yep uh, no not yet okay so I first do that and and then I realized the utility, it has to have a bigger utility room. So, well, at, anyway, so I make the utility room, which, and now, uh, well, I need, I break that so I have more space, space for the utility room again. And I realized that needs to be further back. I just push that. I just, I did that so I can get that. It's in, in the building. So, yeah, and then. Yeah, so again, I'm like saying billion times utility room, but that this is utility, and that is the kitchen right beside. And yeah, the pantry was too big, so and so I basically make the smaller, and remove all those excessive stuff. Yeah, and beside the oh uh, yeah, so I actually I do put lights so you guys can actually see inside for once. Uh, my last one wasn't that great. I uh, honestly, I'm gonna probably bulldoze it or like remake it. Yeah, so. Uh, I'm putting the filler cabinets where the actual cabinets go. So yeah, there's those. And I realized there's the big arch there. So I put that there. Two more goes there. And yeah, move that. But, and I realized it's, it should be smaller. So I make it even smaller. So yeah. So yeah, the pantry gets smaller and smaller. But I mean, need, we don't even need it. But yeah, so now I put more cabinets. I also, I think yeah, that's the island that in the center, which I sort of put it okay, I think. And then on the other side, I realize it needs that banister. I don't know what those things are called, but yeah, like it's open. It's an open floor concept. So yeah, and then there's a curved piece kind of there. So I put that. And I think yeah, I moved, I no, I first finished the cabinet first, and I realized there's a bit of a diagonal again. And yeah, try using that. Nope, that doesn't work. So I used the other corner piece, which actually worked well, but I actually have to fix that later because that's not exactly in the right plot. It will happen soon, but first I finish that. And yeah, I realized there's also that. And also the wall just kind of clips into the cabinet. So I replace it and kind of alt place those. And it looks okay. It's not bad. It changes a lot, actually, <laughs> in between. I actually actually do the actual build, which will ha I'll put in the second part of this video because it will get really long if I just make it one whole video. So yeah, I'm just kind of putting the ones that are actually on the floor plan of this build. So yeah, I put those cabinet trees, which uh, kind of glitches, which I really hate, but it's okay, it works. So I, at this time, I sort of use those big ones, which I mean it looks okay, but it's not how the build actually works, so I do change it back. But yeah, at this moment, it's like that. And though I finished kind of the layout of the kitchen, which gives me an idea of how big the whole build would be. And then beside it, there will be a three wide foyer, entranceway kind of thing, also opened to back. And I no, I changed that to an, another one. Which, and also, I, first I used a black. I do change the swatches. It's just a filler. As I say again, though the the thing itself stays just different color. So yeah, and then there, on that other side, there's like bathroom, a small bath, a powder room, not a bathroom, powder room because there's no bath in it. And beside that, there, yeah, there there's like a kind of closet space. 
And beside that, I think that was like a, there's sort of a bathroom and a kind of a closet space. Again, well, it's a walk-in closet, but in, in, in Sims, you don't actually really need that much closet space. But anyway, I put it in. There's also that weird small room that goes there, which is probably like another storage. Maybe that's the storage and the one beside is kind of more like a broom closet or, or like, yeah. Yeah, so there's this weird curve bathroom where, where that small, that kind of a pentagon place is where one toilet goes, which is like weirdly big for a toilet. And I think I should have probably put a toilet paper there, but I didn't. But yeah, so I put that bathtub again filler, but it's not in the right place. I'll fix that. So yeah, there's a door there. Oh uh, yeah, and then yeah, there's the toilet. And I do put all the camera trees. I used the that fancy one, uh, not this one. I tried it with this one. I saw it, it works. It looked similar. I try. I I move it, but I don't want it to kind of clip through. And but I want it kind of centered. So I go with that. But then now it does not work. It's too small. So I go back and I use kind of like a smaller end pieces, to make it look better. And yeah, I do that same thing. There's another diagonal piece over there. So actually, the, and yeah, I, I think I scooped a lot over a little bit later. But yeah, for now it's kind of cramped here. So yeah, there again. There's a lot of di blah, diagonal piece parts to this build. It's just kind of annoying. It's hard to build. Yep, I'm scooting that more right. I do change that again because I mean originally. The thing is, that's supposed that in the in the diagram photo, the the sink is actually on that diagonal part, which makes sense. But it was kind of not working with me as well because of all those ugly pieces going all over. So I do at the end, I actually move that over to the left side, where on actually the image of the actual house has that sink there, which is a bit weird. It's different from the, they could have done the same thing, but yeah. And off of that, there's a weird cabinet that I delete there. Yeah, this is the master bedroom, massively big. I put a. Uh, I'll, I'll, you'll see in my next video, but it's like so hard to furnish this. <laughs> yeah, it is to make it big. It doesn't make much difference. Like it doesn't even light up big a lot more. But yeah, put a lot more of those same doors. Again, just placing it for now. Even the stairs right now, it's. <laughs> I don't know if I changed the color, but I know I changed the layout of the stairs as well later, but yeah. So that's where my walls... But then I... Uh, and then beside that is like the... I think it was like called a grand... Or like a great hall, great hall. It's like a living space, a big living space, but I realized it, it's obviously it's an open plan too as well. You'll see in a sec. And that, beside that is the dining room, which works. And yeah, there's also columns that kind of exist in the floor plan, so I just follow that. And yeah, there, it's just, it's not exactly centered, I just realized. But yeah, it's okay. I actually don't, I, yeah, I bumped that out. I think I, yes, I make it so that it's, and also this doesn't center, I centered it later, it'll be fine. But yeah, so, yeah, and then there, and I just extend that hallway down. Um, I don't know when I realized. Oh, yeah, so I put the fireplace there. I do change that to a different one, I think. Yep, I used that one, which looks a lot better. And it looks a lot more modern. Fitting. You'll see where... Uh, right now, the cabinetry looks kind of not so fancy, but you'll see. Yeah, and that is apparently also open plan. So I had to change that. And also the stairs was... Oh, I had to change it. You'll see. And then yeah, so I just continue on. I think that's like a another closet space. There's a bedroom like on the left side of the dining space, or like further from the dining space, which you'll see. And I actually learned this new term. It's called Jack and Jill bathroom. Basically, it's like a bathroom that's shared by two bedrooms, door on each side. It's kind of like, yeah, it's like Jack on one side, Jill on the other kind of thing. But you'll see it. Yeah, so this is like utility room. So I put the same cabinetry as again a filler. I'll change that in my actual build. And yeah, so I realize it's too big or like too wide that straight piece. So I move that. I 
slowly do it because I want to make it the same shape, same size. And yes, so I moved all those. Uh, yeah, and I moved the pantry over as well. Uh, obviously, I have to do the same thing with pantry because this needs it like that. Yep, same thing. Is just break all that walls down because that wasn't the right shape. Oh, that was a mistake. Yep, so I break that. I just add lights. So you can see. So yeah, now I start working on the same thing. And I realize it's I can't have it. It's not, it's annoying. So I, I decide I'm going to move it further. It's like half tile further away, but I mean it works more with my build. So yeah, that goes my uh kind of bedroom doors on either ends because there's going to be a Jack and Jill bathroom, as I just said. You'll see in a sec later. But yeah, so this hallway room goes all the way. And yeah, uh, no, I made a mistake. There's supposed to be a wall there. And I think, yeah, and there's another wall that goes there. So this is a garage, as I said. I don't actually build anything in there. <laughs> there's literally nothing there, even on my final build. I don't know what to put there. I mean, I could put gym equipment. I don't have much pack at the moment, so like I can't really put like some other thing. I was already th originally thinking like maybe like indoor pool. Instead of a, obviously not a garage, but like it doesn't like I already have an outdoor pool, so like I don't need it. So yeah, I'll, I'll have it in my second part. <laughs> You'll see. Like most of this is like just putting out the things that are in the floor plan of the actual build. So yeah, there goes my laundry. Oh, actually, I wonder if I double layered that. Uh, I'll have to look back in my build and I have to yeah. Yeah, at the moment it's brown, again filler, you'll see it the color swatch change, but yeah, so I, I, it's too big, it's not the right size, shape either, but I keep it. And yeah, I choose, I use the same cabinetries on here, this Jack and Jill bathroom, which is, at first it, it's so big, I, I, like it doesn't make sense, like, 4 by 4 is too big, I don't even, like, I mean, yeah, so later I just change it so that, and the, and the doors on each side are like so tight fit. I don't like that. So, yeah, uh, I first extend it because also you need a bathtub and a toilet. And yes, yeah, so I moved those doors, but, and yeah, you see, it's like the bath, yeah, so I scoot it closer so the doors are more spacious. And yeah, and then there's another door there which goes to the bathtub and the toilet. I don't know, I could think of the word toilet but yeah so there is go same stuff just where it should be and then apparently the, an actual floor plan the only thing that actually was there in this room was a built-in desk drawer and apparently tv which is like well at, at first I, I don't put the tv in the master bedroom so i'm like the kids get a tv i i, I was like joking about how like kids have a tv but the parents have like painting to watch which you'll see when i'm actually doing the speed bill furnishing part but yeah so i changed i tried changing it didn't like it i mean i should have probably used that once i changed the swatch because I, I didn't use it because it didn't have black but oh well but it's okay and then yeah so the garage gets a lot bigger for no apparent reason and yeah and then here and there's like in the actual floor plan it literally says like a future planned for like in-law apartment so it's like a, kind of like an extra suite like there's literally a yeah i'm going to first fill, fill in these roofs and i realize that's stairs so i'm i'm, I'm probably gonna have yeah, room a temporary room i'm gonna fix that later yeah so yeah this is like a suite that has like a living space so i'm just gonna build this um living space right around here i'm just trying to measure it it's yeah i'm gonna i think i scoot that back in because that's not in the right spot. And again, another diagonal piece, but it's just a door, so that's at least fine. But the whole kitchen thing has to be on the diagonal, which is like, ugh. Yeah, and there's there's a bit of a, there's a bit of a back area, which is a, a small patio. Yeah, but so this is like the kitchen area. Uh, and there's apparently a pantry, so I decided, it's supposed to be like a one and a half tile, but I just put two tile and I put a door. And it, oh yeah, and that was weird, but yeah, so I'm, I will put a door, I just don't know when. But yeah, there's also a door to the actual suite. Yeah, so there's the door to the pantry, and there's a door out to there. 
And yeah, I just finished the rest of this and I realized this is going to be annoying. Yeah, so I scoot that so that's big. Yeah, and I and it yeah, it sometimes doesn't work, but it works this time. And I do take that out. Uh, right now it's that, but it will be a fridge eventually because in the floor pan there is a fridge there. So yeah, I just yeah, I, I just yeah, for now I just put more cabinet trees. I think that's what you, yeah no oh yeah there there we go I put the fridge I do remove that glitchy one but yeah here at least I keep it and I try to make sure that doesn't go through the wall yeah so that's about the kitchen and I do put the same stove I do replace that stove with something entirely different but yeah for now I don't know about the that one I'll have to check but yeah so I there's also another I think that's the I just don't remember. Oh yeah, that's the bathroom. Uh, second, and the bathroom slash closet. I didn't actually furnish anything in the closet, only the bathroom. And I didn't know what's there, so I leave it off for later. I will probably have to do it at, in my actual furnishing part. But yeah, so there's a bedroom there. And actually, apparently, this is also the only one that actually has a furnished kind of. There's a bit of furniture in it, so you can actually tell there's something there. In the other ones, I have to use my liberty of creating. I mean, some of them, mind you, do have a picture of those kitchen, which for some reason there's like different. Yeah, there I size it down, but yeah. So there's like some pictures like the kitchen, like the ensuite from the master bedroom, but most of the build, I had to do it like from my imagination. But yeah, but that will be, again, for the second part. So stay tuned. So yeah, there at least I got the fireplace, which. The one in the the, the in-laws suite, I have to move it. But yeah, so there's more patio space that I have to put in. Which actually is not a patio, which you'll see later in this video. Stay tuned. Leave for a few minutes. So yeah, there's a bit of a bump out there. And yeah, I put those wooden columns there. Because there's actually a roof covering here. And then I put those bandits, I don't know what they're called, but those things. Yeah, I had to also put the wall there. Yeah. And I don't know if I, I don't know if I'm going to cut, I'll, I'll just keep it, but you'll see my painful roof build. Yeah, and there's apparently that small cloth, or like a kind of a storage unit there. And there, yeah, this is like the small patio to the back which uh, yeah that sort of worked yeah I had to just do that yeah, and it was kind of a weird shape it's like a diagonal yeah like that but like more and and that didn't work I mean, so um, yeah that didn't work so I have to bring another one back in to make that shape yes yeah, so, and there's also columns here so I put those the same ones and there's also three columns here, which behind these three columns, there's two garages there, and there's actually one more that you'll see come out. Uh, I think I actually, sir, uh, I don't know, oh no, not there. First I finished the front, the front foyer, the porch, actually. Which, mind you, there is no porch in this build. But yeah, so I, I decided to find, I, I should first use these because it did have square columns, which I do change to the seasons columns because it actually has a stone bottom and a kind of wooded top. So, anyways, but it will change later. So, yeah, there's a weird thing here that's the closet or walk in closet for the men and the women, which I do a bit of furnishing there. Should have done also some for the in laws, but yeah, there goes the garage doors or at least like the fake garage doors. Yeah, and. Uh, yeah, I, oh, I should do the stairs now. Uh, no, I, I first like, I can't do that now. I'm, but I'm going to at least put these rooftop, which my first attempt with the roof part, which I actually, oh, I know, you at least see the, the bad part. I actually cut that part out, and in my next build, you'll see my more improved roof. But again, as I say multiple times, stay tuned for that part two. So yeah, there's the 
Uh, it's not called bump up. It's, what was that? I, I had the term. Those kind of things. Yeah, also this wall changes entirely in my act, the newer one. It's a lot better than this weird kind of octagonal build that I currently do, which is, mind you, this was like painful for the roof. It was like killing me. <laughs> well, not literally, but you know what I mean. But yeah, so it has to go same place as the, yeah, again, the octagonal room bit. The worst. And also it wasn't working, so I had to manually place it, but it was, I think it was still not working. I think. Oh no, it did. Never mind. And then there's this weird bit that we're not doing. My honor. So I had to manually place these. And I just copied over the other one. And there it goes. It's called an extra room or like bonus room, I guess. I don't furnish it either. <laughs> so I like I don't furnish a lot of this build. But yeah, so there's this top part. Which I realized the the I put it like that, but I then realized the stairs are not like that. I changed the stairs again a lot because there's the same stairs that go in that area in the basement. It's supposed to be kind of overlapping, but I can't do that in Sims apparently because like overlapping stairs. So yeah, I put I opened that up. Because apparently it's opened on both the 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 great hall, the great room, and the entrance, like kind of like a big open area. And yeah, so I've yeah, and right now I yeah I switched that. It goes that way. It will change yet again. But yeah, so I do that, and I realize ah oh, for some reason there's no floors here. So yeah, that do I I change that? I don't know how much time I change. But yeah, I moved that there, and I put the fence over one of them. Which I, I mean, I'll fix that anyway, but yeah, there. And I just do that, so it goes all the way. The ban I do remove that banister eventually, like in the, in the other one. This, right now, looks fine, but like when I change the stairs, it doesn't make sense. Yeah. So this is a loft, it's called a not finished loft area, which I do change. I mean, I kind of make it loft. And also, there's apparently an office area. Uh, which, to be honest with you, it, it's bigger, but it's kind of like there's a slant wall also on the second floor. Yeah, and I put more doors. Yeah, there's more doors later. But yeah, it's apparently it's supposed to be a kind of, kind of. Yeah, this one I think is a storage. This is the bathroom actually with the tub, even though this actually is an office space. So I don't know why we wash. You put a bathroom right beside an office. It's not even a bedroom. I mean, you could probably design it to be a bedroom, but I mean, it literally says office, so I put office. So then it doesn't really make sense why I would wash there, all the way up there. But yeah, and also most of the second floor is like empty, so I like literally don't put anything there. I do put a filler wall later in the build. So yeah, the, uh, I, yeah I do it here, like here where I do bump out. So I just, it's not, it's supposed to be three uh, dormers. Dormers, yes, dormers. But they're supposed to be all same size, but I can't make it 3 wide because of the left one is not right. So first I put the roof, obviously, it's weird. <laughs> I changed it. Oh yeah, so it's a big uh, gable roof up there, which I do change. So I make I make a lot of pieces. Uh, I don't know, uh, when do I change the, the dormer? To, so like it's like a symmetric on either ends. So yeah, at least I do those piecewise. I remove that and put it on the top, just size it down so it makes sense. Put that other piece on this end. Oh, no, and I put it on the wrong floor, so it looked weird for a sec. But yeah, so that has to go further. Yep. And the, the dormer thing wasn't working. Oh, yeah, and I also realized that it was clipping, so I mean, it didn't clip mm, some parts, so I, I, I do change that again. I remove one of the roof. Yeah, yeah, I removed it, or I meant, yeah, I messed up there, but yeah, I removed it. Just put it all the way. May just make a few pieces. I learned that from other simmers. I'm really glad I learned it. So yeah, this roof goes further. And then I realized, no, back. I'll fix that when the time comes. Yeah, so I put that back. Yeah, so there's a weird block here. So I do put few walls in, but at the end, my... I don't know when I do it. 
all this roof you'll see here will be scrapped. Nothing will stay. Or well, at least on this part. It's going to be like all on there. Yeah, so that's a bit better. I th yeah, I think I changed this roof as well because at, when I was actually recording this one, I didn't even know there was a backyard snapshot of this build. I was only thinking there was only front part, so I don't know. But I realized there was a back end when I was doing my doing more of this build. So I do change the roof, like on this end especially. The other side is looking almost exactly alike. Yeah, so yeah, this this part was a nightmare. Like <laughs> that that bit was like sticking out, it didn't even make sense. And then you'll see, and then I and then I realize it can be scooted, but then there's this weird bump out. I tried to put like maybe like an octagonal piece that would kind of make it a small roof on the bottom, did not work. Try like a semi gable i guess but again this one bumped out on the ends it did not work i tried making it smaller no ugly no i tried again with the octagonal uh, it did not work it looked ugly like not yeah it, it just no i was like no no this is i'm going to come back later with that see so yeah, i've come back to this side just fix that gable roof and I, I, yeah, there was that weird bump up. Yeah, I realized there. So I decided to make it smaller. Either way, it was smaller in the build. But I obviously, as I said, this will not be. So I just ignored that whole other side. There's this part, which has a gabled roof. This direction. It's supposed to be shorter than the middle one. So yeah, I, I, and it's also too big, so I decided to scoot over all this. It makes more sense. It, it gets even more scooted later on. But for now, at least I do this. I put that back. I obviously scoot that back and remove all those. Yep, scoot those back. But I'm like, it needs to go further. I don't like this. Well, not right now, but. Yeah, the door had to be scooted. But yeah, so, I mean, it's not center at this point. It's uh, annoying. And yet, I make it smaller. Still too tall for my liking. So I even make it too... I think I even, yeah, I, like, really, really make this small. And even then, like, right now, the master bedroom is big. And even if I, like, made this smaller, for some reason, it's still so big. Like, oh, You will not understand that. This, I don't know why I did it. I mean, I enjoyed building it, <laughs> don't mind you, but it's just so big. It took me so long just to furnish. Yeah, so I this time decided to move over that triangle bit instead of making it again. So, yeah, uh, I think I centered that at the end somehow, but at the moment, yeah, so there's another like crisscross gable roof there. Which, uh, yeah, so that has to go almost to the end, so I just do that. And then that one, yeah, that's... Oh, what happened? Oh, okay, so yeah, just to, again, I piecewise it so that it doesn't look like the weird bottom piece of under the gable roof. It's a bit weird, I think, but I mean, it works. It looks pretty, and it does change a little bit later. There's a bit of a corner piece but that's fine that works but yeah so I finished that come back to this part try to fiddle with that that does not work unless I put it really low which is too low for my liking yeah so I at least put, put a wall there in my final build there's more wall don't worry it's more at least you if, if you want you can exp if, if you want to use this build it'll be in the gallery and if, and there's actually wall I just put the platform up in my final one but if you guys want to use that as an actual room, maybe like you want to have a hundred baby challenge, which I never done. I never, I never. It's I've only started YouTube with Sims for a few days, so maybe I'll try different challenges as things go. But yeah, so. But yeah, you can probably expand this and have other stuff. Maybe you can even use the garage as in, as I said, like a gym, or like maybe like a oh like. 
Actually, if I were, if I, I might try making like a store, maybe instead of a garage, they kind of re made it into some sort of like a garage, or like not garage, into some sort of like a side store. But yes, yeah, so I'm finalizing the roof, which again, <laughs> annoyingly, it's it's not even the the left and the um, the left and the right of this gable roof was not even same size. It's like really annoying it still isn't in my final but it's at least better but <laughs> and then there's oh wait that that's raw first of all that i did not do that right that's not how it's supposed to be in the final world and now that i think about it, it looks even uglier at least my newer like more burn finished one has a better roof yeah you can see it's like a nightmarish roof yeah, and yeah, that for some reason was, yeah, but yeah, so there's another one of those weird bits here and there. So I, I do, and, oh, I, I don't know if you saw it, but like, I do remove the platform under that garage roof area, like the, that platform. I put it back later, but before when I had it there, it was like weirdly glitching through the roof. So like, no, I can't have it at this point. So I remove it, but I fix it later. But yeah, so that. My roof being done. Yeah, and yeah, there goes my dormers. Finally knowing the names, but yeah. Uh, oh no! I first tried to scoot that. That doesn't make sense. I decided to have it same, so like it's symmetric dormer, which actually looks pretty. And I do expand the office. Oh, expand. Yeah, let me just do that. Yeah, just do that and just delete those walls. Yeah, so it looks like that. It's a lot better, in my opinion. I mean, that's actually how it looked in the floor plan. Except with a diagonal. So basically, the roof acts as a wall. But obviously, Sims doesn't have it. And yeah, in this part, on top of the porch in the front, they had these kind of roof, this kind of sh this cool shaped roof, which this one actually did really well, in my opinion, if I say so myself. So yeah, it's a metal roof. And I really, I really liked it. It was like money. But yeah, I first expanded. I'm like, nope, I don't like that. I want to. I actually, I mean, no, maybe I did it bigger. But yeah, so I make it multiple s s uh, shape I mean, pieces, not shape. And yeah, it looks a lot better. And yeah, yeah, that's where I change it to the seasons one because it actually has stone on the bottom when I actually look at the image, and it looks a lot better. So yeah, and I'm. <laughs> Just put a smaller gabled roof on top of these dormers, which looks lovely, mind you. I really, I really like that. And then I <laughs> come back to the nightmare roof zone. Don't like that. <laughs> it was so like when I was first doing this, like no, it's killing me. <laughs> but yeah, I decided to remove those, so at least makes. In that sense, like because there was no room at yeah here at this point at least. I don't think I put any even rooms for the end piece, but at least I do it that one yeah. So I roofed it really weirdly, but it was okay. But I didn't really like. It. Yeah, so I bring it down. I put it back up. I think because that will make sense. So yeah. And there goes the gable roof, which I had, I think I, I don't know when I changed it. I real and also that I realized there's like literally a roof piece going into the house. Doesn't make sense. So yeah, I'm change that. Hey, yeah, that's probably all I do there. And yeah, that gable has to only on one side, so that goes. And yeah, there's also tech. Uh, so yeah, this is where I'm like. That's how the gable goes up. It's not supposed to go up, my you. It's supposed to be like on the second floor, but uh, it doesn't work. But yeah, so I put those kind of roofs, kind of like slanted roofs on the other gate. Uh, dormer. Yep. And what am I doing here? I forgot. Oh, I, I was just. Oh. oh yeah, and then there's a basement apparently in this. So yeah, I use a pool because the pool goes on the basement, so I can actually. See. I don't need the window next time, but yeah, so I can actually see where the walls on the top, so I can actually 
plan out where these walls go. Kind of. So like I'm just making sure I'm putting it right. So I put that, I do another pull here. Yep, there we go. Me pulling again. Yep, I, so I check to make sure. It actually works. I mean, I don't know if it's a pro tip, but I think it's a good tip if you want to make the same room on the top and bottom, like same like wall li alignment on the top and bottom and you can't really see. I mean, there's probably a better way, but I mean, if you are new to something and you're like me, an okay thing I think like it works so yeah I'm just uh, I okay so I I don't know when I do yeah so I put it a bit further so I can actually place that see so, yeah, I did that then I do that it doesn't go into the garage so it just actually ends there uh, and I, oh yeah, I put the triangular one, which I realized then. No, that's yeah, that's not right. So yeah, that's where it goes. I'm like okay, so that goes there, and yeah, so it basically kind of loops around kind of the garage. So yeah, so I put it there this time, just to see how far it goes. And yeah, that's how far that goes. That's actually it worked pretty well. So yeah. Just finishing off the roof. I mean, the basement. Uh, I don't know if I put the stairs in this video. Oh yeah, and then for some reason the stairs disappeared, so I put that back in. Uh, I did originally do double, but like, yeah, I, it's like not working. It's like glitching out. I was like, nope, it's colliding. So like, oh well, I'll have to use one alternating. Kind of like a crisscross stairway. So I mean, I'm. Move this. I try moving the stairs. Does not work. So yeah, I use the one stair, which I do move back. And yeah, I do that. Go down. And that there. And I just put that there, so it's a like crisscross. So yeah, move like that. And I move the bottom. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this build. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and stay tuned again for the second part of this build where I actually furnish this, little furnish this build, and also fix the roof, or at least I'll cut the fixed one. You'll see it a lot better. But anyway, see you guys in the next video.